Well, two new bills making their way through the Colorado legislature are reviving the battle over construction defects, which can lead to lawsuits regarding family homes. Deborah Seven's Russell Haythorn digging into the push for new protective measures and claims by opponents who say this could hinder new development. It was supposed to be their American dream. Let's do new construction. It'll be nice and reduced maintenance. But quickly turned into a nightmare. This is from water damage that came in from the outside up above. Sure enough, in the next rainstorm, I noticed the leak reappear. Their stories are all too familiar. Construction defects costing Colorado condo and homeowners thousands. And many believe a spike in lawsuits related to construction defects has now scared away many builders. Welcome to those of you who want to be homeowners, right? right? Condominium construction in Colorado has dwindled to virtually nothing. Which is why Senator Rachel Zenzinger of Arvada and other lawmakers are introducing new legislation to spur new development while delicately trying to balance homeowner protections. Zenzinger's bill targets lawsuits specifically. We don't always have to run to court in order to solve our problems. Aiming to give homeowners more options outside of lawsuits when it comes to holding builders accountable, including a right to remedy, which includes three things. Builders can offer to settle with homeowners outside of court. Builders can offer to fix the problem or homeowners can choose a third party at a builder's expense to come in and fix it, thus eliminating any kind of lawsuit. Why are we choosing the most expensive option and an option that takes years and years to resolve? But opponents say this bill severely weakens homeowner protections, especially by requiring two thirds of condo complex owners to sign on to any lawsuit. I can't imagine trying to get 67% of the homeowners together to ask them if they want to help file a lawsuit. And it has nothing to do with construction defect laws. Jeff Niels with Pacey Niels Economics recently conducted a study which shows there is no data to support the claim that construction defect lawsuits have led to a lack of builders or affordable housing in Colorado. They're still here. They're still making billions of dollars in profits and they indicate in their financial statements that they're not worried about the impact of construction defect litigation on their bottom line. All across the country, builders are shifting from building for sale multifamily housing to building for rent multifamily housing. Condo owner Jonathan Harris ended up settling his defect claim and is here fighting for future homeowners. We want people to build things right the first time. Russell Haythorn, period. Denver 7. And lawmakers will hear a competing bill tomorrow that aims to bolster consumer protections from construction problems. So this would extend the time frame that homeowners have to catch construction defects from six years to 10 here in Colorado, which is more in line with the national standard.